Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Ultimate Slippery When Wet Tour Bon Jovi figure. So before we take a look at Bon Jovi, let's take a look at all of the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with his mic stand, and he can hold that very well in both of his hands. That looks very nice. NECA did a very awesome job on this accessory. Up next, he comes with this alternate face plate of him singing. And that looks really good, especially when you have him holding the mic. That looks very awesome. It switches out very easy. That's what it looks like from the back. It's really odd switching it out, but it works pretty easily. And finally, he comes with his guitar and guitar playing hands. And this guitar is sculpted really well. It looks fantastic. My big complaint, though, is that the strings aren't painted on. The strings have no sort of paint detail at all. You can see that they're just left in the collar that it's painted in, that brown collar. So yeah, that does bother me. But other than that complaint, I think it looks really good. And the hands are sculpted very well. It actually looks like he's playing it. NECA did a really good job at sculpting that. You can see that this one has the pick in his hand. Very tiny detail. But yeah, it looks fantastic when he has it in both hands like that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So overall, I think it's a decent likeness to Bon Jovi. I feel like something is just a little bit off though. Like from the side it really looks like him, but from the front something is just slightly off. It's mainly with the face play, because I think the hair is sculpted phenomenally. It looks just like his hair. They really got that down pat. It's cast in a dark brown, has that kind of sandy color painted over top of it. That looks very nice. Like I said, that hair sculpt is spot on, but something is just slightly off with um, both of these face plates. With the face plate detached from the head, you can really tell that something is slightly off with that face there. For the most part, I do think it looks like him, but something is also missing from it. So taking a look at the rest of this figure, NECA did a phenomenal job at sculpting and painting this. The attention to detail on all the parts of his outfit looks stunning. The scarves look really nice. This one's really long and fades from that pink into the purple color. If you lift this up, you can actually see that they sculpted the necklace on there. It's done in a very bright gold color. You even get body hair sculpted and painted on. Oh, it's actually printed on, I think. So yeah, there's even a bunch of detail underneath these scarves, and that looks really good. His jacket also looks really good. You can see all the buttons on it. On each side there, the star. It's cast in dark blue and has that light blue painted over top of it, making it look like denim. NECA did a very awesome job at painting this. It's got some slight texturing too. That looks really good. They even got the tears on the elbow looking good. The skin tone is painted on very well and you can see the paint variation where it's torn. That looks really good. You get the tassels on the right side here. You can see that they're actually sculpted all the way around. The detail on the pants is crazy. The intricate patterns there came out very clean. The gold that they used is a really nice color. It really pops. NECA just really went above and beyond on this. I, like I said, I love all the little attention to detail. Like even the laces up the side of the legs here. So yeah, this, this is sculpted so well. I forgot to mention they even sculpted and painted the rings on his hand very well. You even get some veins going up his hand. So yeah, this thing is sculpted like crazy. NECA did such an awesome job at sculpting and painting this. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So he has a ball jointed head that can look up very slightly because of the hair. Uh, he can look down very slightly. He can move his head side to side. He has shoulders that can move out that far. This right side doesn't want to move out as far as the left. He has single jointed elbows that can bend in that far. He has a swivel wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has a ball jointed waist and diaphragm that can move back that far. He can crunch forward just about all the way. He can move side to side up here in the diaphragm very slightly and side to side very nicely down here at the waist. He has ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward that far, back that far. He has a very nice thigh swivel, single jointed knees that can only bend in that far. I do wish they could bend in just a little more. And he has swivel at the boot, swivel ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, and a very nice ankle rocker. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here he is next to the neck of Freddie Mercury figure. This is the one, I think it was from last year. Here he is next to the classic NECA Iggy Pop figure. He's definitely a figure I'd love to see get a redo. I really don't think it'll happen, but then again, I never thought a Bon Jovi figure would either. 
And finally, here he is next to the McFarlane Metallica James Hetfield figure. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up because NECA did a fantastic job on this. I do wish the likeness would have been just a little bit better, but overall this is a very awesome figure. It would be really cool to also see a modern Ultimate Bon Jovi, that would be very awesome. And hopefully we continue to get music figures from NECA. Uh, music figures are something that I really love. I love any time McFarlane or NECA makes them. So yeah, hopefully we get some more 80s music figures from NECA because I would love that. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.